Welcome back guys uh, I'm going to show you here how to uh, create one of the the most interesting parts of this machine in my opinion uh, which is the the cutting part so we're going to get uh, right away with it so isolate um, the parts uh, that we're going to need and we're going to start uh, we're going to start creating it so first of all I'm going to adjust uh, uh, some of the basic uh, uh, proportions here uh, since I'm looking at my at my reference I see that uh, you know uh, I have to adjust some things it's an uh, interesting part because uh, it Im involves some uh, you know different shapes and uh, involves uh, some cutting and some uh, uh, you know uh, different modeling but uh, we're going to be fine uh, you're going to see that uh, a shape uh, um, a mesh like that which looks uh, quite uh, difficult isn't actually as difficult as it looks so okay I've uh, deleted that uh, polygon over there at the front and I'm going to uh, create the front cap that uh, you've probably seen on the on the reference okay uh, so just uh, just some uh, you know move and uh, scale magic and we're going to uh, be able to create uh, the cap pretty easily okay okay so now I'm looking at my reference just to check out what uh, I should do next I'm thinking what should I do now and uh, I think that uh, I have to um, create some of the edge loops I will need to uh, uh, to get the shape right like this one over here uh, as you can see I, I created that uh, edge connection and now I used it um, to create the, the shape that's needed make that uh, part more uh, square okay so adjust that a bit So now I'm going to uh, make that uh, that side part that uh, looks like uh, I'm part of the of a cylinder. I'm just going to drag that a bit to the right, as you probably seen uh, here on the reference. It's uh, it's going uh, all the way away um <coughs> all the way uh, on the side of the machine. So here's that uh, cylinder I was talking about. I'm going to use it to uh, create the uh, the middle part. Uh, you can see that uh, we need a eight-sided polygon. Uh, eight, oh, sorry, eight-sided cylinder uh, again. I'm just adjusting everything uh, to be in the center of the of the machine. Also, I'll move that uh, uh, object we have there at the at the, sen at the center. So now I have to make the my cylinder bigger, and uh, also I have to uh, delete half of it. But we haven't got to that yet. 
Yeah, so now uh, I'm uh, I'm connecting the middle uh, sections of the of the cylinder just so I could uh, delete uh, delete half of it. I've hidden the uh, the cylindrical part at the middle, and now I'm connecting those parts together. Yeah, delete half of it. And now use the the border edges at the end uh, to uh, shift, uh, uh, drag them to the side like so, and also scale them up something like that. Okay, so next, uh, I believe that uh, the next part is um, I have to uh, use this uh, new geometry. Uh, to uh, cut a hole in the in the main mesh with the same uh, uh, you know shape as as uh, uh, this one here as the cylinder here. So yeah, I'm going to vertex mode and I'm going to use the cut tool. Oops, sorry, something fell down. Um, I'm going to cut through the uh, through the mesh to create that uh, that shape there. Also, I'm going to connect the front in the, uh, so that uh, I could uh, make a another edge between those two vertices and uh, get rid of the triangle there. So now I no longer need that shape. I have it here. I need to make one more cut right about there and on the on the bottom as well. I'm going to cut it all the way to the back. Do the same for the other end. So uh, what we're going to need now is an edge loop that will uh, help us, um, you know, uh, see where the this part will be uh, going to. Uh, you know, we have to uh, weld it, uh, weld those um, uh, end vertices there. Delete the inner polygon and now weld those vertices. Target weld. Like so, and do the same at at the bottom. Yeah, so you can see we have that uh, shape ready. Uh, we need to make some connections in order to harden the edges. Yeah, that's like that. And now I believe that. Uh, yeah, we're going to to delete the the back side of the of the machine. Oh, actually, we're going to inset it and uh, yeah, uh, scale it back, and uh, then we delete it because we actually don't don't need it, and uh, it's no point in the in uh, creating it. Also, do the connects. Uh, down there to harden the edges okay so now I think that uh, I have to connect those uh, vertices there to get rid of the uh, four-sided uh, uh, I mean uh, angons you know fifth and sixth sided uh, polygons that I had there and I need everything to be uh, with four sides in order to uh, have the mesh smooth working properly I know I'm uh, I'm saying uh, all those stuff in uh, each part you know in uh, in uh, each part uh, of, of every day but uh, if somebody is uh, watching only you know this uh, part of the video and not watching uh, the other ones I want to share this um, uh, technique with uh, everybody 
uh, that's why I'm re repeating some of the stuff I hope you don't mind and if you <laughs> if you don't like uh, me talking uh, all the time you can just mute me <laughs> you know <laughs> you can just watch the video uh, and okay so we continue uh, with the main uh, with the main mesh uh, we've created this uh, cylinder with uh, 10 sides and we're going to use it to cut the the main mesh uh, like so on the side yeah just just cut it like that all the way to the side and you can delete that uh, that cylinder after that but first I'm going to adjust all the the vertices so that uh, they match the their, their place you know where they should be okay so what's left for us to do now uh, is to uh, connect those uh, uh, vertices that uh, you know stand over nothing uh, with uh, the rest of the mesh like so you know to the end because we need to create uh, the hole there and uh, yeah um, take a look at the at the reference once more yeah I'm going to create an an edge here that will represent the end of uh, of the hole I noticed that uh, it doesn't go all the way to to that uh, element you know uh, it stops uh, somewhere uh, uh, you know uh, before it uh, reaches uh, that uh, that element there so now I'm uh, connecting the the vertices um, with uh, the rest of the mesh there just so I don't have angles do the same thing here and now we can go ahead and uh, delete those polygons as we don't need them now select the uh, end edges shift drag them back yeah like so to the end yeah that's great so now we have to you know weld the vertices there at the end it's a little tight space I can't uh, see very well yeah so uh, target weld those cap that and do the connection in the in the middle and everything is in four sided polygons which I think it's great so now as you can see we have the uh, the basic shape ready and it wasn't that hard as you can see the the shape may may look hard but uh, once you get into it it's uh, it's really not that difficult so now we have to uh, uh, harden the edges of course by using the connect uh, tool okay as I shown you before uh, I will connect the vertices and this creates another vert uh, vertex in the middle of the of the edge uh, which makes it easier for me to uh, move to the side I see that I have a few vertices there so I weld them yeah do the same down here so yeah uh, this vertex in the in the middle allows me to pull the uh, the edge closer to the side you know with edge constraint don't forget that you don't want to mess uh, up your mesh okay so now I'm going to paste the uh, mesh smooth modifier just so we can see how things are going and I think that uh, they're, they're going pretty well you know it's it's looking fine 
we we're going to continue adding more detail but first I have to fix that uh, edge at the back yeah I have to target well that down or actually I've uh, I undid that and now I've create I cut the edge again and this time it works how it's supposed to be working so so far so good now I'm going to continue uh, adding uh, adding a new edge and straightening up with the uh, scale tool okay that's about right so what I'm going to do now uh, is uh, chamfer that edge but uh, just uh, just slightly chamfer it you know just a small amount and uh, this will split up the two parts uh, of the of the machine and I'll select uh, you know the the left uh, part and I'll bring it back you can do you can do that uh, the other way around. You can select the right part and bring it uh, uh, to the front. So once you have everything selected, you know it's easier to it's uh, it's easy to just pull it back like so. Yep, and that's looking better. Taking a look at my reference. Okay, so now, yeah, I see the uh, there's a little problem here uh, with the smoothing, so I'm going to create a new a new edge here that will uh, help me straighten straighten things up yeah like so with edge constraint yeah that's looking better already okay so moving on with the next thing I'm going to take a look at my reference here So I'm going to um, create an edge here. I'm going to straighten it up just a bit, like so. And again, I'm going to to chamfer it just a little bit because I need to do uh, the same uh, technique we we just did. You know, I'll select uh, those. Uh, uh, parts here and I'm going to move them back yeah as you can see and also I'll move those a uh, little bit uh, uh, to the uh, left you know uh, to the left of the of the part not of, of the view it was down not left uh, so okay I see there's uh, some problems here with the back but I'm going to leave them as, as they are right now I'm going to go back and fix it uh, later again uh, use another connect mm, doesn't work that well but yeah I think it's okay use, uh, use the connect to create that bar, the, that uh, to harden that is a edge there. Yeah, I think it's uh, looking better already. So now, I believe that uh, I'm going to uh, create those um, box uh, elements there that uh, I guess hold uh, the middle part together. I'm going to start off with a with a rectangle 
here and just looking at the reference to see what I should do I convert it to editable spline you can see where it's situated I have uh, a hotkey for that it's customized so it's no point in me telling you uh, yeah I'm going to adjust the shape so that uh, you know it's uh, uh, looking more like on the on the picture I added another uh, vertex changed the mode to Bezier corner and use the handles to uh, create the, sh the the shape I want also fill it the back uh, uh, the back uh, uh, vertices okay so now I can uh, add an extrude modifier to uh, my cell my um, uh, element my spline and uh, adjust it to place also it shouldn't uh, it should be uh, less thicker than that 0.6 looks fine yeah I think that's that's looking better you can also do the uh, do this shape uh, with a box if you start with a box I've decided to to use it as a um, to create it uh, from a rectangle because uh, you know it's uh, it gives you more freedom it's uh, faster to to create and also I wanted to show you another way of uh, of making uh, uh, such a shape as we uh, all we've, we've done so far is uh, start from a box or a cylinder okay so I've uh, uh, copied that element to uh, the downside here and I'm going to select the front and the back polygons uh, of both of the of the elements and now I'm going to control click on the edge which will turn my selection into edges and make a, s a small chamfer here uh, those parts are not going to have mesh smooth so you don't have to worry about uh, angons uh, I'm going to leave them as, as they are but I'm chamfering the, the side edges because I need uh, uh, I want them to collect more uh, light and uh, reflections and specular and stuff like that uh, once I uh, start rendering the, the uh, project you know the machine okay so I'm going to uh, use that uh, boat and I'll make a copy of it like that and I'm going to position it properly also scale it a bit because it's too big I move it where it should be and yeah adjust it a bit also I'm uh, as you can see the this boat is different from from the one I I took it from so I adjust it and also make a connection with five segments and I'm going to uh, extrude them inwards to uh, create that feeling like uh, you know uh, it's a real boat that's sticking out uh, there you know it has some kind of teeth or I don't know how, how they call it yeah, like that and yeah that's looking better I'm going to chamfer those and also chamfer the no I'm go not going to chamfer I'm going to select the uh, those edges ring select and uh, again using the connect 
and pinching up the, the two new, new segments uh, sharpen those edges now attach to the main part and as you can see it looks uh, like a real like the real bolt yeah I think that's that's okay uh, now I have to copy those uh, uh, this bolt but as you probably seen it has to go in a bit like so, so I'm going to uh, move each uh, each part uh, back a bit move it back deselect the one that's already at the right place and move the rest again back and do the same again and again until you reach the end of it okay so uh, the last thing I'm going to do is actually uh, you know uh, create uh, the connection between uh, the uh, how do you call it the the segment and the bolt it's uh, uh, I, I really don't know the the name of this in English it's uh, something that uh, helps uh, for uh, uh, better screwing up the the bolt so I, I'm, I'm just creating it I, I don't know its name but <laughs> that <laughs> doesn't stop me from creating it uh, okay so after I'm I'm done with with the bolt I'm going to uh, copy it to the side as an element and then oops, and then center the bolt uh, bolt uh, uh, elements and copying them no I'm actually not going to copy them because uh, uh, the the bolts at the at the bottom are different from those uh, at the top uh, as you probably seen on the reference okay so I found a, a bolt that's uh, uh, suitable for my work here I'm going to uh, put it on the right place yeah, down there rotate it uh, 90 degrees position it properly and uh, I'm going to attach it uh, to the main cutting part yeah, copy the bolt once more and attach them together okay that's looking all right so we're going to go ahead and uh, continue with the next one with the next uh, part I'm selecting those edges here and there and I'm going to bring them down a bit not too much yeah like so Okay, so that's looking better. More like uh, on the reference picture. Okay, so I'm not. Uh, I'm, I'm going to create a cylinder uh, with the auto grid uh, turned on, uh, which will help me 
because uh, the cylinder will stay on top of the, of the machine that way. Now I'm going to uh, create a, a connect here and select select uh, the front uh, faces and extrude them. After uh, after I extrude them, I bring them to the right place and delete them as I don't need them uh, to stay like like that in there. So yeah. Also, I'll delete the the bottom uh, polygons. They're not needed as well. And adjust this a little bit. And it's time for uh, hardening the edges, like we do every time with every uh, element. Okay, insert uh, the top polygon a bit, use the connect tool here and after that I'm going to attach that part to the main, uh, to the main object. Okay. So now, uh, what I'm doing here, I'm going to create another uh, uh, cylinder on top of this one. So use the scale again and create that uh, that part here. So now, uh, what I'm going to do, I'm going to weld every every two vertices together, and in this case, that creates you know a five-sided angle. It's actually a five-sided polygon, yeah. Uh, but I guess, yeah. I I've actually needed uh, to be with four sides, uh, but I I've already created it, so I guess I'm I'm just going to leave it at that for now. Maybe I'll go uh, ahead and fix it after that. Yeah, I forgot to uh, chamfer the side edges, so I'm going to do that now. Ring select them all the way to the top and use the chamfer, just a small amount like uh, 0 0.5, uh, 0 0.005. And again, go ahead and uh, target weld uh, these uh, vertices. That's looking better. So, okay. Saving the project, don't forget to do that. And now we're going to continue with the next part. The next part being that. Uh, I'm not sure what we're going to do next. Yeah, switch to the left view, to the right view, and uh, we're going to create another cylinder here. Oh, 
move it up a bit and I'm going to delete uh, half of it extrude uh, the border edges and bring it to the back like so So now I'm going to use uh, uh, another cylinder to uh, cut a hole in that uh, in that element. We have uh, half of the of the cylinder already done. So I'm going to cut the other half like that connect them connect each uh, edge like so bring that to the side cut uh, the other uh, the other edge down and delete this one in the middle as we don't need it really so now we have to connect the other uh, vertices yeah like so fix it up okay now we have everything uh, uh, done we have to delete the back uh, part again just so we don't uh, end up doing the same work twice delete the uh, middle vertice vertex actually not vertice uh, and again border selecting the border edges delete that edge actually cut through there delete that edge and now we have only four sided polygons which is great okay so now we continue with uh, uh, making the hole oh so yeah like that also I'm going to bring it uh, in a bit bring it to the front and create that hole in the in the middle like that okay at the end uh, cap the the final polygon that's good you yeah, move that uh, where it should be something happened there I uh, I moved it probably Okay, so make that edge to harden the, the side. Uh, select all of the backside vertices and drag them to the to the end of the uh, element. Okay. So now what we're going to do uh, is uh, create uh, another edge uh, to uh, connect that uh, that cylindrical part we just created create an edge and move it to its place okay so now uh, I'm going to add another connection there uh, as you can see what I'm doing I'm adding connections and I'm placing them uh, uh, right where there is another vertex of the of the new object we've created because I'm going to delete the polygons under it and I'm going to attach it so now as you can see there's some problem here at the back 
going to fix that uh, yeah so I'll pull those back you know uh, you know these back uh, polygons here they're giving me some uh, problems but I'm going to fix it all up all up in the future don't worry by the end of the of the videos we're going to fix that it's just that uh, I don't want to mess with it right now it's in the back nobody will ever see it okay like that so I put all the vertices beneath the, those edges and now everything uh, looks straight if there shouldn't be any problems now yeah, I have some overlapping uh, vertices here as well as you can see So now I'm going to delete those polygons we talked about and attach the new part. And after that I'm going to uh, target weld all those vertices together. Yeah, I need uh, another edge loop here. Like so move it to the side yeah like that I'm selecting all of those vertices and I'm going to pull them uh, closer because I need to target weld them without uh, breaking my mesh yeah weld those together as well and do the same thing here like so yeah so that's that's about it here we're going to add another um, edge loop uh, here at the bottom because uh, we need to harden that edge I'm going to move it down like so yeah this should do it just tweaking a bit and I have a, a small triangle there yeah, that I fixed on the other side as well okay so now let's try it with the mesh smooth on yeah I think it's looking good yeah we have some small shading uh, problem there but uh, yeah we also have some um, uh, some kind of uh, double vertice or double edge here yeah I have to weld those as you as you probably seen they're twice as much as they have to be. Yeah. Now everything should be looking okay. Just add another edge loop here. <sighs> yeah, I think that's that's looking better. Okay, so now I'm uh, looking at my reference thinking uh, what should I do next I've decided to uh, create this element here start off with, with a cylinder 
delete the uh, bottom uh, polygon I run a little bevel on the top one like so as you can see sometimes I use uh, bevel but uh, most of the times I, I tend to use uh, uh, move and scale tools and now as you can see because of the auto grid that uh, cylinder wasn't exactly uh, uh, sitting right so I fixed it up and now I'm going to create that hole that's going through it that's why I'm uh, creating those uh, edges and again I'm going to start off with a cylinder like so yeah it's too small so I'm going to drag it <coughs> drag it a little bigger and then I'm going to adjust the radius move it to it to where it should be and I will delete the back half as I don't need it right now because uh, I will cut only one one of the halves and I'm going to duplicate it like we did before so start cutting here adjust everything and connect those vertices to remove the uh, end guns like so okay I think that's looking better already delete the, the middle vertex delete the cylinder we don't need it anymore and now again with the scale and the move tool I'm going to create the, the hole just like that use the scale to straighten my selection ok that's good use the connect here so that uh, my edge there will be hardened once I apply the mesh smooth okay so I copy that uh, part to the other side and now I'm going to uh, weld uh, this middle piece with a small amount of course and then I'm going to edge loop select it and control backspace to delete it I'll do the same for the inner seam and that's that's looking good now okay so I will attach it to the to the main body like that yeah I think that's that's looking good So I've uh, noticed that uh, this part should be smaller so that's why I scaled it So now I'm going to yeah I'm going to create uh, one of the of the elements that sits on top of this uh, part here. I use the connect. After that, I cut down to those to this vertex like so. 
and now I'll use those uh, edges here to create my uh, element use the connect do the same on the other side okay so when you are uh, going to create a uh, cylinder for a hole like this you need to uh, turn off the mesh smooth just so we see the edges properly okay so now I'm going to cut it like so all the way okay so uh, as we do ev every time connect those vertices together using the cut tool the hotkey for the cut tool is uh, ALT and C on the keyboard ok so now I'm I'll have to yeah I'll make the bigger and um, use the scale and move tools to adjust it enough just so it's uh, looking like on the reference picture use a connect uh, tool here to harden the edges and we're going to run another ring selection and connect around the hole itself like so okay this should do it I think that's looking good now so I think that uh, I'm going to start off and uh, make the, the middle section of uh, this cutting part I run uh, connect through it but first I'm going to uh, create that uh, middle section element there uh, I don't know if you if you've seen it on the on the reference there's a little uh, hole here I'm going to create it again start off with the cylinder eight sides and do do the procedure that we already done so many times start cutting but I'm uh, only going to make half of it because uh, that's wha what we need for this uh, particular uh, element here detail we only need uh, half of the of the selection so ship dry it use the scale to fix it up and I'm going to bring it uh, like so and weld the vertices at the end Make the middle ones. Uh, ring select the the side edges, all of them, and again with the connect, bring that uh, edge loop in, like so. And don't forget to weld the uh, triangles at the ends, like I'm doing here. Okay that's looking better yes some um, something happened here I'm uh, I'm going to try and fix it yeah I'll leave uh, I'll leave some uh, more space between the uh, the final two edges just so I can cut it right like so and the other one 
also do the same on the other side okay this should be looking right yeah I think that's good yeah we have a small uh, problem at the end I'm going to insert, insert the, the top polygons just a small amount yeah that's that's better it's uh, just a small detail but you know sometimes small details make all the difference Okay, so I'll delete that cylinder. I don't uh, need it anymore. And I was thinking of uh, making uh, a new a new boat here, as you've seen on the on the reference picture there's a boat on top of this yeah, I'm going to delete that again use the scale bring that up Okay, so I'm now I'm now going to weld each two uh, vertices, and there should be a six-sided uh, element at the end, like so. I don't know if you noticed, but uh, I started off this cylinder with 12 sides. That means that uh, when I uh, weld each two vertices together, that uh, leaves me with uh, six sides like uh, you know uh, each bolt is with six sides make the middle part just so there are no hangons and now I'm going to have to chamfer the side edges of the uh, of the bolt just so this they uh, they're still six sided when I apply the mesh smooth as you can see right now it smooths the, the end result and I'm going to ring select those hit uh, edge loop selection which is Alt uh, E on the uh, keyboard okay so once I have the right edges selected use uh, a small chamfer and clean up the mesh welding all the remaining vertices I think they're called uh, T vertices uh, the ones that uh, sit on the on the middle of another edge create uh, creating the uh, leather so something happened here I'm going to cut it manually delete that edge in the middle do the same here the other side as well okay so now everything's looking good the final thing I'm going to do ring select those use the connect tool to harden the edge yeah I think that's looking better it's looking how it should be looking 
Okay. So now I'm going to uh, move to to the next part. But first, I'm uh, I'm going to select the the boat we just created, and I'm going to copy it a few times. Where it should be? Yeah, it has to be a lot a lot smaller here, like so. Position properly. Okay. So now I'm going to uh, make uh, the last copy for the bolt, put it uh, right there, and yeah, that's about it. I'm just looking around my model, thinking uh, what should I do. I see a, a small problem here. I need to uh, make some uh, adjustments here. Thinking what should I do? Yeah, I ring select uh, all those edges. Make sure you don't miss any. Like so. Hit the connect with one segment and move it to the side like that yeah that's looking better so now I think I'm going to move on with the middle section Yeah, start off with a cylinder at the middle there, position it properly, like so. Delete the back polygon and the front as well and I'm going to yeah I'm going to move the back um, border edges just so they're inside the the main mesh and start off uh, with detailing the this part here again using the uh, scale and the move tools just like that continue forward we're just trying to match the reference image here isolation mode just to see uh, where my part should be should drag it all the way to the other side of the gear yeah but uh, I'm thinking uh, what should I how should I do this Yeah, drag it all the way to the side. And create the final, the end uh, detail here. Ok, 
okay like so I'm just finishing up here and now I'm going to harden my edges you know with the connect use two segments pinch them up uh, quite a bit and go ahead and uh, do this for every ring selection here like that all the way to the to the end okay so now I can go ahead and attach that uh, new element here yeah I think that's uh, looking uh, pretty good so yeah I've, I've decided that I should move it uh, just a bit more there and I guess that uh, that will be all for this uh, part we're going to finish up this uh, middle section in the next in the next video so uh, you know I hope you you liked uh, this video and I'm going to see you in the next one bye bye